Excuse me, sir, but we think that was very rude and we are in want of an apology. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 banned kids TV episodes. I hope the kids got the message. Yeah, drinking's uncool. For this list, we'll be looking at episodes of children's TV shows that were so controversial they got pulled from the airwaves. Were you surprised by any entries on this list? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Rude Removal, Dexter's Laboratory. Fans of Dexter's Laboratory have been aware of the banned episode Rude Removal for quite some time. Oh yeah! You're the rude one, brother! It is you that is rude! No, you! No, you! 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 you. Show creator Gendy Tartakovsky had even been known to show the episode publicly when he gave lectures or attended events. Few thought the episode would ever see the light of day outside of these events, but were pleasantly surprised when Adult Swim pulled interest for the episode's release on their Twitter. Gosh, Dee Dee, I have an idea, but, well, it's a little bit blue. Oh, well, let's hear it anyway. <gasps> oh my, Dexter, that is deceptive! The network then released a few cryptic bumpers before ultimately sharing the infamous episode with the world. The episode shows Dexter creating a rude removal system to remove rudeness from his sister Dee Dee. It does its job, but creates alternate rude versions of the both of them, who yell at their mother with constant censored swearing. Now I'm gonna get a bar of soap to wash out your filthy little mouth, and when I get back I wanna see this place spotless! Number 9. Ready for the Bettys, Phineas and Ferb. With few exceptions, most episodes of Phineas and Ferb feature original musical numbers. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Mow, mow, mow. And the heart starts pumping. Chicka, chicka, chew up. Never gonna stop. Itchy, itchy, goo means that I love you. Unfortunately, one of these numbers, and the fictional band who sang it, seemed to have landed Disney in some hot water. In Ready for the Bettys, Candace and Stacy win the chance to travel with their favorite band, the Bettys, and learn an age-old lesson. Never meet your heroes. We're your biggest fan. Yeah, we, we won a contest, and now we get to hang out with you all day. We'll just keep it down. We're trying to write a song. Sure thing. Oh, no problem. After an alleged dispute with a real band of the same name, the episode was pulled from the airwaves and would not resurface on U.S. television until 2015. It is unclear how the issue was resolved, but Phineas and Ferb seems to have made its mark nonetheless. Get ready for the baddies, ready for the baddies, get ready for the baddies, ready for the baddies. Ready for the baddies. Years after the series end, Googling the Bettys still brings the cartoon band front and center. Number 8. Mr. Ratburn and the Special Someone, Arthur. Although many of the entries on this list were banned nationwide, only Alabama was barred from seeing Mr. Ratburn and the Special Someone, an episode of PBS's Arthur released in 2019. Teachers don't get married. Just wrong. I guess they do have some sort of life outside the classroom. The reason? The episode prominently featured a same-sex wedding between series regular Mr. Ratburn and a chocolatier named Patrick. Although the episode was just as kid-friendly as every other episode of the series, Alabama Public Television decided that it was not appropriate for kids to potentially see without parental guidance. <laughs> The Arthur's spin-off series, Postcards from Buster, ran into a similar problem in 2005. The episode Sugar Time, Heinsberg, Vermont, was banned in several states after a single airing for its inclusion of a real-life lesbian couple and their family. And Gillian. So Gillian's your mom too? She's my stepmom. Boy, that's a lot of moms. Yep. Number 7. Conflict, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. With a soft-spoken voice and clean-cut image, most people associate Mr. Rogers with safe, calming programming. But Mr. Rogers was no stranger to controversy. Around the country, they didn't want black people to come and swim in their swimming pools. And Fred said, that is absolutely ridiculous. He consistently pushed boundaries in an effort to teach kids about the world around them. One of these instances was a full week of programming centered around conflict, specifically nuclear conflict. In the episodes, King Friday finds plans for what he believes to be a bomb and instantly begins preparing for war. And war isn't nice. We've been very fortunate here in this neighborhood of make-believe not to have any wars. Children are also shown learning about gas masks and air raid shelters in school. The series of episodes were deemed too intense and were banned from syndication in 1996. Well, I have to ask everybody to do something. Well, what is it? Help them make some bombs. What kind of bombs? A secret kind. 
oh, they're probably full of toys, and when we drop them, everybody will get a treat. The majority of the week-long series remains lost to the general public, unavailable through any mainstream streaming service. Number 6. Buffalo Gals – Cow and Chicken with the nude Red Devil as its primary antagonist, Cow and Chicken was never the most family-friendly kid show on TV. But Buffalo Gals ramped that fact up to 11. Oh, cow! Let's cross a stampede! Uh, I don't think I could. The episode featured a group of bikers known as the Buffalo Gals, who showed no interest in men and were said to randomly burst into people's homes and chew on their carpet. <laughs> The episode continues in this manner, with an increasing number of innuendos and heavy-handed stereotypes about lesbians. The episode's ending note is questionable at best and homophobic at worst, showing Chicken saving his sister from the group. You know, there's a moral to this story. But it's a secret! Number 5. Minnie Takes Care of Pluto – Mickey Mouse Works Featured in the shorts-based series Mickey Mouse Works, Minnie Takes Care of Pluto begins with Mickey dropping Pluto off at Minnie's house without warning. Oh, Pluto, you know that I love you and you know I don't mind taking care of you, even though Mickey didn't even bother to call ahead and ask. Oh, no, he just marched right over here and dropped you off on my doorstep in the middle of cleaning day like I'm some sort of dog-sitting service. After an angry Minnie warns Pluto to stay out of her way, he begins to imagine worst-case scenarios, including Minnie poisoning him, burying him alive, and killing him with a mace. He even fears that he will be sent to hell rather than heaven when he dies. Hey, about time you got here. Come on, let me show you your eternal punishment. This is all shown on screen and was ultimately deemed too frightening for the show's young audience. In addition to being banned from future airings in the U.S., it was also one of the few segments from Mickey Mouse Works not to feature in the later series, House of Mouse. Number 4. One Beer – Tiny Toon Adventures Children's television is no stranger to anti-alcohol PSAs, but one Tiny Toon Adventures episode tackling the topic was apparently deemed too intense for its young audience. Buster, this isn't like you. I know, but in this episode, we're showing the evils of alcohol. One Beer sees the show's young protagonists each drink a sip of beer and immediately feel under the influence. They steal a cop car, eventually driving off a cliff to their deaths. The segment ends in what appears to be heaven, but is revealed to be a soundstage where Buster asks, So do we get to do a funny episode tomorrow? The tongue-in-cheek ending has led some to believe that the episode was made in response to network demands for more lesson-centric episodes. After its initial airing, One Beer did not rerun on U.S. television for two decades. Number 3. Episode 847 – Sesame Street Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This is the Wicked Witch of the West. She's worse than the other one was. The Wicked Witch of the West is decidedly a bad witch, so much so that her appearance on Sesame Street was banned after a single airing. The episode, known as Episode 847, prominently featured Margaret Hamilton reprising her role from The Wizard of Oz. You know something? You have got to be the most beautiful person I have ever seen. Wow, I think I'm in love. After its premiere, the studio received an overwhelming amount of letters from parents claiming that the character was too scary and threatening for their children. Test screenings of the episode showed no such reaction, but it was promptly pulled from syndication nonetheless. All I want to do is to get out of here and fly home to Oz where I belong. Room to Oz! The episode has never been officially released, but cut segments of it were shown to an audience at a 50th anniversary event titled Sesame Street Lost and Found. Number 2. Electric Soldier Porygon – Pokémon This infamous Pokémon episode featured a scene in which Pikachu used an electric attack on a collection of missiles, portrayed on screen with a four-second long red and blue strobe effect, which we're not going to show because of what we're about to tell you. The results were devastating. <laughs> Almost 700 Japanese people suffered a number of negative symptoms, including epileptic seizures. As a result, the episode was banned in Japan and never aired in America. The Pokémon Porygon was not directly involved in the offending scene, but has nonetheless rarely appeared in the anime after the episode. <laughs> 
それはこの天才秋葉原博士が作り出した CG ポケモンプリゴンの賞 This was not the anime's first or last brush with controversy America also banned several episodes featuring the Pokemon Jinx probably due to its purported resemblance to racist caricatures and the episode The Legend of Dratini likely due to its overuse of guns さて、おじさま伝説のポケモン、ミニルーの居所を教えてくださるわよね<笑>教えてくれなきゃこんなの出てきちゃうわよ。Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Garbage Pail Kids. For those unaware, Garbage Pail Kids began as trading cards featuring gross or violent images involving cartoon babies. I am here to tell you about the Garbage Pail Kids show. It is disgusting, obnoxious, and worst of all, gross! Due to their content, the cards were banned from many schools and households across the nation. Unsurprisingly, parents were horrified to learn that CBS was producing an animated tie-in series for the cards. <laughs> Now. The show was heavily protested for allegedly glorifying violence and ridiculing those who were different before its premiere, eventually causing CBS to cancel it. As a result, America did not see a single episode of the show, even when international stations in places like the UK, Canada, and Spain did. Uh, I mean, I should have known. He wasn't grossed out when he saw us. Never trust an adult who isn't grossed out by a garbage pailer. Luckily, it seems that America is now finally ready for the Garbage Pail Kids, as HBO Max has announced a new series. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.